From the A-list to the Oklahoma County Jail. A former reality TV star now facing criminal charges for bilking money from a bank. But there's also a civil lawsuit and accusations. James Doyle has been taking money from gay men in Oklahoma and not paying it back. News Force Kaylee Olivas is joining us with details and to explain what all is going on here. Kaylee. Yeah, Kevin, a lot to unfold here. So far, we've heard from three men who say they lost thousands of dollars to someone they thought they could trust. I'm young and dumb, 200 mile long distance relationship for a person who I've never actually seen in person. I'm not that dumb, so it wasn't even the romantic context. It was the I want to try to help out a person. Just one out of several alleged victims. He says each found themselves falling for a similar story. For me, it was four and a half thousand. For someone else, it was twelve hundred. Uh, the largest amount I know he's taken from a single person was twenty thousand. Then it was the same song and dance of, "I'll give you your money back. I just I need to wait for this check to clear." At the center of these accusations is former reality TV star James Doyle, whose bio for the A-list Dallas says he's a self-proclaimed trust fund baby. Text messages between Doyle and an alleged victim show constant communication. In that, continuous requests for money. Quote, I have never been this hungry in my life. Quote, if it doesn't work, my entire life is over. News 4 spoke with the man at the other end of those texts. He took Doyle to court last year for failing to repay a little more than $4,100. He threatened to fabricate sexual assault charges to try and coerce me into dropping my lawsuit. Doyle lost that case. Records state he never showed up to court. He's now mandated to repay every cent to the victim. Fast forward to February of this year, new court records show Doyle is now facing criminal charges for allegedly defrauding a bank 21 times. That Oklahoma City bank reportedly losing nearly $7,500. It's like a carpet bombing. He is just anyone and everyone that he can talk to, that he can get a communication, a line of communication going with. News 4 reached out to Doyle's attorney Tuesday morning for comment. He declined for both himself and on behalf of Doyle. However, Doyle then explained his side of the story over text just seconds later. He claims he had a, quote, incredibly rough year last year. Doyle says he is currently working on making amends with the alleged victims. I don't hate him. I don't want anything bad or horrendous to happen to him. I just want the situation done right. Well, Doyle also tells me he has contracts and proof of loans for any, quote, alleged debts. Although he initially told me he was working to get everything fixed in a civil case of his, he claims the allegations brought against him are false.